All right, so follow up with the 2018 Dodge Caravan. What a mess. Okay, so we have our Icon refrigerant and leak detector, as well as I'm going to pull a vacuum on this vehicle and show you how I did all of this. So let's go. All right, first, make sure you hook up your service ports with your manifold gauges. So the blue one runs up along the rear driver's side along the firewall right next to your thermal expansion valve get that hooked up make sure everything's closed on the manifold gauges at the moment and then hook up the high side as well that's underneath the air box you have to pull it up kind of get out the way and you can get inside there um, then you're going to use your pittsburgh pump after everything's hooked up you're going to start your cfm uh, I said, sorry, 2.5 CFM Pittsburgh unit running 120 volts. It's basic but effective pump from Harbor Freight. Works great for what you need it to do. Um, once everything's tight, you open both the low and high valves on the manifold and let the vacuum pump run. Um, for a large dual system like this one right here, you're going to make sure you run it for at least an hour, uh, maybe two hours. And I would recommend doing it twice. You want to make sure you boil out all of your moisture and air from the system. Everything that could have gotten in during the uh, thermal expansion valve replacement or any type of other leak is very bad for these systems. Um, they leak as they are, so be very careful. <laughs> um, you're probably going to have an issue down the road. I'm going to tell you right now, they're not cheap. So after the pump runs... You want to close both of the manifold valves to isolate the system prior to shutting off the pump. Then you shut down the pump and you watch your gauges, okay? If the vacuum holds for 30 minutes with little to no change, then you know you don't have a leak. Um, you can really check it after 15. If it's jumped up even one or two, it's pretty much got to have a leak. And I can tell you right now on this system, if you're getting a hiss like I was, more than likely you're having a leak from the evaporator core, which in this case, after all of this work, I have confirmed we have a leaky evaporator core and the dash is going to have to come off. But I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up here. So your Icon leak detector works great. It detects several different types of refrigerant. Make sure not to touch that tip on your shirt or anything else that could have cleaner on it. If you do, you're gonna have false readings. Um, now, once you get that guy going, you just run it over, especially from the vents, if you have anything coming out the side of these vents, especially the center, you know you have an evaporated cool leak. All right, so that's it. Make sure you like, subscribe, and ring that bell for more live streams.